Insane Tuesdays. I am Insane Ian. I am JP Tuesday. And I left my controller across the room. Oops. And I'm losing. Welcome back to Jeopardy. Oh man, this is fun. Uh, for it's you, fun. it's fun for me. I'm sorry. Is it not fun for you? <sighs> That's what I thought. I'm sorry. I'm really fast on buzzers, and when it's multiple choice, I can I can half-ass my way through it. This is, this is how I passed all my classes. I half-assed at guessing, and I was good at it. Um, <laughs> so here we are in Double Jeopardy round. Uh, the stakes are higher. The prices are higher. I'm going to guess wronger answers and lose more money is basically what's going to happen now. Uh, and uh, Yeah, but you're still you're in second place, though. Yeah, I'm in second you're by not default. In the, you're not in the negatives anymore, so you've got... That going for default, you. Default, 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 yeah. default. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Uh, oh, Robert, Robert's, Robert's picking. Going straight for the money. Name of the capital of this Canadian territory comes from a tribe who would make knives out of yellow copper. No idea. Okay, Robert, what do you got? The Northwest Territories. Right. Oh, crap. He's on the board now. Yep. Now you're in third place. Play now is when the panic begins. Select a category. Daily and double. he got the daily double on the second question. How much do you want to wager? We don't get to see his wager. The Ginzi and Tokyo Shopping is a similar sounding word as a knife brand seen in, in infomercials. Oh, I know that. Lose it. Get it wrong. Yes, you got it wrong. Sadly, it's Ginsu. That's not it. <laughs> I'm aware of the Ginsu. The new Turbo Ginsu. It slices, it dices, and makes Julian fries. fries in three different oops. It's <laughs> can cut daily through again. He got two daily doubles in a row. How much would you like to wager? Ah. Oh, kitchen knife resembling a hatchet. We don't get to we don't get to try these Precisely. because he. How much did he wager? Five dollars. Wow. Way to live on the edge there, Robert. It was used by the farmer's wife to cut off the tail of the three blind mice. Uh... Uh... Whoa. Uh... You cut off the tail yeah. of the carving knife, the three Wait, blind mice. I got it right on a guess. I couldn't Wait, remember. In the, the director's boy. chair. Nowhere to be found in Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Oh, directed by this man who always casts Johnny Depp as a clue. I, with the, the Ridley Scott. Uh, <laughs> That'd be weird seeing him in Aliens. Um, I'm going with this one. Oh, gosh. What's the fifth Transformers movie? You would know this, but I'm... I, oh, I, I figured it out. <laughs> Transformers Homecoming, you know? Transformers Covenant! Speaking of, of Ridley Scott. <laughs> I'm going to clean up a category. Conversation. She directed Mary Antoinette. I know this one. That is Sofia Coppola. Yes. Uh, she's much better director than she is an actor. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go for the 400 on this one. Jurassic Park director brought Roald Dahl's Big Friendly Giant to life in the BFG, which does not stand for Big Effing Gun, you Doom fans. Um, Correct. That is one of the things that it does not stand for, which everybody thought it was, but no, it stands for Big Friendly Giant, I think? Yes. The Social Network earned him an Oscar nomination for Best Director. Oh yeah, I remember this one too. That would be Fincher. That's correct. Like I said, that's a category I was going to clean up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did see you trying to buzz on those, but I am faster. Um, all right, we're going to go with this Locked one. On the same. Original Moonwalker, Neil, and Biker Lance. That's easy. Good job. Beat me to the buzzer. Yep. 
That's it. I hesitated. <laughs> you should give me a shot. Give gave me a shot. Yeah, man. It's I wanted to be slightly to fair. Uh, let's keep it going. Last name the same. Attorney Robert, Robert M. and Microsoft's Bill. Gates. Alien. Exactly. I wanted to say alien, and then I stopped myself because I saw it was an Alan and not alien. Player one, which uh, let's would you finish like? off Cutting Edge. Wait. Server set and is often engraved with the names of the bride and groom. Ooh, I. Mm, they are cake knives. I know because Correct. I've been married. That's the only reference I have for that is by actually being married. Oh, that's terrible. Um, all right. <laughs> Oracular Omaha resident Warren and Cheeseburger in Paradise singer Jimmy. I know this. Oh, man! Buffett! Yeah, good job snaking in on that one. Correct. Second place. Yay, you are finally beating Robert. This is your choice to choose category. Uh, let's keep it going. Cool. Civil rights leader Jesse and NBA coaching legend Phil. Hartman, right? Yeah, clearly Phil Hartman. Jesse Eisenberg. Uh, Jackson. You Is that you? Right. Yep. Nice! I thought that was Robert buzzing in. That's right. Your, your AI has a hat. <laughs> and let's finish it off. South Carolina Senator Lindsey and quarterback Otto. Uh, is that Lindsey Graham? That's right. Oh, you suck! Not to get political or anything. Wow, I really peaked the mic on that. <laughs> I, mean, if I don't know, this one's fine. Gulf of Toronto lies between the heel and the rest of the foot of this country. Oh, I think I know. Whoa, you beat me. Italy! Oh. That's correct. Italy. Italy, yeah. You said that so fast, it was like, this is Italy! <laughs> Please select a category. All right, keep it going. The resource lies in the plateau of Langres, about 18 miles northwest of Dijon. Uh, but is the Danube? I'm sorry. Nope, I'm wrong! Wow, I lost 800 bucks on that. That sucks. I know what it is. No, it's the CN. Oh. That is not correct. Robert's gonna get it. Because that's a French word. That's it. Langres and Dijon, I think, are in France. I could be wrong. Player I don't three. know. Which category would you like? This agency is actually a lake that's more than one and a half times larger than Lake Superior. Uh, clearly, we both have no idea. The Caspian Precisely. Sea. Ooh! And he got it right. Dang it, he is catching up fast. Yep. We must stop Robert. The Thames and Ryan are on one of the many rivers emptying into the sea. I, uh, uh, I think it might be the... Uh, That's no, right. dang it! It's the North Sea. I'm telling you so you can buzz in and get it. All right, let's try that. You are correct. Yeah, it was, it was a toss-up between those two. I couldn't... Couldn't think of what side it was Thank on. You. Please select a category. Uh, Me and geography, we're not good. Blah, my name. The Blah. following image. A uh, colored part of the human eye. Ooh, 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 ooh. I knew it. <laughs> That's correct. Yeah, I did the thing. Player one, it's your turn to choose a category. I'm gonna finish off the water category. Seaports on this bay include Chicken. I said those names completely. I have no idea. Uh, I'm guessing. Indeed. And I guessed right. Man, Indeed. My luck is good. <laughs> Better than you playing Hitman. Hey, 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 we don't speak of that. <laughs> Finger pressure in Japanese, this type of massage deals with 12 major meridians. Oh, oh, beat me to the buzzer! Oh, shoot. I know this one, though. Eh. Yeah, there you go. Well you done. thought it was uh, the needles, didn't yes. you? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking it might be the needles, and I was like, no, but it's a finger pressure, not Which needles. Which category would you like? Uh, let's go back. Also, medicine 800. 
Negative, this therapy tries to cleanse the body using negatively charged particles. Uh, negative ion therapy. That's it. Yeah. See, you, look, we're all what learning something. <laughs> That's what happens when you play category. Jeopardy. If you don't know it and you guess it, then you've learned a thing. Yes. This type of suggestion is a form of self-hypnotherapy. Ah, that's, uh, uh oh, auto-suggestion. Self-hypnotherapy. I use root words to discover the answer. <laughs> Gosh, I'm stupid. <laughs> There's no place like this type of treatment that uses natural tinctures to heal the body. I like the hints. Homeopathy. You are correct. Homeopathy? Homeopathy? I've heard it pronounced homeopathy, but it probably is homeopathy. Or not. I don't know. Tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. Both acupressure and acupuncture work with this Chinese energy. This is the one that you were trying to answer. Yeah. Oh, I was talking and you buzzed in. Qi! Or Qi. It, it, qi, I think it is, yeah. I heard it pronounced with Qi and Qi. You've heard it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Some, some do pronounce it Qi. Pick You're a category. Absolutely correct. Is all you, uh, buddy. Keep the flower. The That's flower all we got left. Image. Circular stained glass windows seen in many Gothic cathedrals. A uh, rose window? That's right. Okay. Okay. Good on the guessing. Player one. Which category would you like? Oh, gee, I have so many to choose from. This one. Look at the following image. Water lily seen here is sometimes known by this name that's used for seated yoga pose with crossed legs. I know nothing about yoga. Do you know anything about yoga? Uh, Native American style. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lotus position. Well done. Good job. I had no clue at all. Ah, uh, yeah. Two. Please two left. To two left. Guys, finish it. The following image. Flower seen here shares its name with this Disney princess. I know this. Uh, God. <laughs> That's Jasmine. Because <laughs> that's the one that's a flower. <laughs> and the last question. Here's the last clue. Look at this the flower scene here is known by this name that's sometimes used for a liberal voter or politician. Uh, what is libtard? <laughs> uh, ah, bleeding heart. Well it's so done. much easier when you don't have to type the answers in and they just give it to you multiple choice. I remember Everyone the old PC version where you had to type in the answer. Oh, I, I, that was how it was on Sega CD, which is even worse, because, like, you're using the keyboard on the screen. Ah, all right, Final we're Jeopardy. Gonna, we're going to keep going for Final Jeopardy how to finish this episode out. Wagering? Make your, make your wager. Your own wager. Uh, I'm going to wager... I'm going to wager everything! <laughs> sure, do that. If I lose, I'm going to lose big. Uh, I'm doing, doing that amount. Wow, you are... <laughs> If I'm going to lose, I'm going to For lose. an 1867 sale, this island group was known as the Catherine Archipelago. Um, before the sale. All right, you've buzzed in your answer. I don't know. It's between two of them. Uh, fine. See Robert's response. The Falkland Islands. Wrong. Oh, good. I didn't guess that one. See, my response... Guess one. The Philippines. That's not correct. No! Oh! Did I actually get it right? No, I guess Philippines. I forgot I guess. No, I forgot what I guessed. <laughs> <laughs> There's the Aleutian Islands, which I had never heard of, but... Here are the final uh, places. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> I won! Hooray for me! Hey! And that was Our super fun. Today is... I have ranked up again. Well, thanks for joining you us for this episode of, of Jeopardy on Insane Tuesdays. And come back, we're going to play something else because you Jared doesn't look very happy at me. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, Jared thought through with me. Look, it's like everybody you when they play me in a competitive game, rank. they don't like me anymore. Uh, Thank you for fu for seeing the final episode of Insane Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> We've only just begun. Oh man. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Unlocked and I've unlocked all sorts of things. So uh, we'll see you later. 
Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.